I am going to welcome here today on uh, video call Michael Saboda, who is the Director of Product Integration at Charter Communications. So Charter is a very big enterprise company, so I'm going to be rating off some numbers that are going to be really big. <laughs> so Charter is an American telecom company that offers its services to consumers and businesses under the banding of Spectrum. It provides services to 26 million customers, and then some, in 41 states. It is the second largest cable operator in the United States and the fifth largest telephone provider based on residential subscriber line count. And they have 94,000 employees worldwide. Wow, I told you that was going to be a lot of big numbers. <laughs> so with that, welcome to this live stream, Michael. Hey, Priyanka. Hi, how's it going? It's great. Very excited to be here and talking with you guys today. And congratulations on all the recent exciting announcements that you guys have been making. Thank you so much. It's very nice of you to take the time. Um, so to kick us off, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your role at Charter? Yeah, sure thing. So you know, thanks for the intro. Quite a big operation going on here at mm -hmm. Charter. Being the director of product integration, my primary focus is within our product experience development. And it's you know my job to make sure our developers who are working on our clients and, and providing a digital experience to our subscribers under that Spectrum brand have a great developer experience, mm -hmm. helping them realize that vision of quick iterations, giving them feedback, you know, shifting these concerns like security and testing and deployments and, and getting that feedback early in our value stream where it's cheaper to course correct. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. So uh, in this next year or two, what are your biggest goals as you break that down? Yeah, so like I said, our, our biggest goals are kind of realizing, realizing on that vision of, of quick iterative development, mm -hmm. shifting concerns mm -hmm. left. You know, GitLab's been right. a, a cornerstone of our, of our DevOps platform, right? Yep. Using it for yep. source control management, for continuous integration, continuous deployment, a Docker registry, artifacts. Um, so really, how can we expand on the features that you guys are providing and create that single place, right? You know, GitLab's been a tool that checks so many boxes for us. We want to continue checking those boxes and give developers a single place to get feedback, self-service, and do it in a responsible manner that, you know, allows us to provide quick value to our subscribers. Yeah, that, that, I think that makes a lot of sense. So, um, uh, quick question though. So, as you mentioned, uh, Charter is trying to shift left, right, and bring operations uh, more into the developer's workflow. Why exactly uh, did, did you decide to do that? I bet that's a big move. Yeah, it's totally a big move. I think we've seen you know, signals in the market that consumers and subscribers are looking for different ways to interact with companies. They're looking mm -hmm. for different ways to interact with us in a more digital way, looking for different ways to consume content. Um, you know, shifting these concerns left give, makes us be able to be competitive in creating these new digital ways for consumers to interact with us, whether it's paying their bill or, you know, yeah. understanding how their account is set up, you know, ordering new service, consuming live streaming video or video on demand, um, you know, adding to our already valuable product, uh, you know, just different ways for consumers yeah. to do this and doing it in a quick way that I think the rest of, you know, the industry and all these other businesses have have created. Uh, you know, the customers want that quick feedback, uh, and to do that, you need to ship things left. Yeah, I think it's become uh, table stakes, so to speak, with yeah. uh, with the growing impact of technology. And I think what you said is really relevant because so many large or enterprises are shifting left or trying to shift left, and uh, I think uh, those folks will find a lot of value in our discussion today. So. Uh, going back to the plan then, um, what are the areas where GitLab has provided you guys acceleration in this shift left philosophy? Yeah, so like I mentioned before, GitLab kind of checking all the boxes, being mm -hmm. that cornerstone. The single um, application yeah. you mean, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. A single place to get all that feedback and, and be able to understand, did my, did my code merge in? Did yeah. it build? Did yeah. it pass the tests? You know, did it pass the security scan? You know, these things in a single place within yes. the merge request, yes. within that UI and seeing that, it's helped us come down and make feedback that was typically around our sprint cycle of, you know, two weeks-ish, yeah. yeah. um, down to minutes, right? So now for, for front end, 
client development and prototyping, we're doing thousands of deployments a week, leveraging the GitLab runner system, you know, a huge piece that we leveraged, yeah. Sid mentioned it earlier. Um, it, it's been a great use case for us to be able to put the power in developers' hands, define their build context. Gone are the days of managing, you know, different build machines. It's all in the power of the developers. Mm -hmm. And now, from the first line of code on every single branch, we can deploy a mutually exclusive environment and get feedback in minutes, you know, wow. down from that week cycle. Wait, how, how long was the cycle before? You know, on average, two weeks, you know, within a sprint, wow. you know, mm -hmm. merging the code at the end of a sprint. Now, every single branch of code, you know, goes up, picks up a global shared runner that we have. You define your own build context with the Docker functionality. Right. Um, every single branch of code can have a deployment and you can have feedback as a developer, feedback as a product owner, as a designer, yeah. right away. Wow, so from two weeks to seconds. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to call that meaningful. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so cool. So, so tell me, um, it's very nice to hear that we have been able to help your organization make this move towards the DevOps way of doing things. And, and the proof, is, like as I said before, proof is in the pudding, <laughs> favorite phrase. Um, so I want to ask, how did you guys find us in the first place? Yeah, so one of our engineers, uh, Stefan Leadley, who's still with our team today, you know, he found you guys early uh, when you were out there. And, you know, could, could have possibly been from that show, Hacker News Post, that Sid was talking mm. about. But, uh -huh. uh, you know, he was out there, saw what you guys were doing, sort of started evangelizing mm -hmm. it. And we've grown from a you know, about three years ago when Stefan introduced it into product yeah. to now yeah. about a thousand active contributors on the, wow. the GitLab. Wow, that's amazing. So it seems like Hacker News is really important to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what you guys have been doing and, and a, a good evangelism of your product from the, from the ground yes. up as engineers and product. Yeah, it's like a true story of, you know, uh, the bottoms up developer love story. And I think that's so exciting, not just because of the way it happened, but that, you know, large companies like Charter are listening to the feedback from their developers and then leaders like yourself are responding to it and creating strategies that are affecting the whole company's bottom line and brand. So that's, yep. that's really, really cool. Um, so tell me, uh, so you have so many people using GitLab and um, you know, working with it every day. What does the GitLab team at Charter look like? Yeah, so, so right now uh, for what we're doing in, in project experience development, we have Stefan who I mentioned and another engineer, Tyler Horvath. And yes. They're yeah. the two that run our GitLab deployment um, and the surrounding tools, which again aren't very many oh. since GitLab takes care of a lot. Um, but they're they're kind of responsible for the deployment and the self service developer platform that we have within product. And oh. it's just the oh. two of them. And I think it's a huge testament to the the ease of operations of your tool, yeah. and, and yeah. you know taking a lot of sharp tools, but putting it into one really sharp tool, it reduces that footprint of operations, right? So it's, it's one thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say it. We have a, we have a small team, which, you know, if, if we had, you know, eight, nine, 10 tools pieced together, rather than just a handful with GitLab yeah. being that centerpiece, yeah. we probably need more than 10 people, but we're able yeah. to accomplish it with a team of two right now. And so these two folks are able to serve a thousand plus users of GitLab at Charter. Yeah, I'm going to start calling wow. them contributors now. Oh, we've got a thousand contributors. Love it, love it. <laughs> no, we are co-creating here. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. So tell me, um, I'm really glad to hear you've seen such a positive response so far. Where are you planning to integrate in the future with GitLab? Like what additional areas? Yeah, so right now we have a lot of a lot of things planned um, for the remainder of this year. Um, you know, a lot of that's probably going to continue to change as you guys announce new functionality. Um, but I think we've we've seen signals in the community around moving to containerization, right? Yes. Especially for more yes. modern architectures, it's it has a lot of benefits. I think we've seen the signals in the community as well that orchestrating these containerized workloads with Kubernetes is the way to go. Okay. Um, so that's. That's the path we're on. We're looking to integrate with more functionality that you guys have there. Right. Um, and we're looking to run GitLab itself on Kubernetes before the end of the day. Oh, so you'll use the Helm charts uh, deployment that we have? 
yeah, yeah, you guys just went GA on that. So uh, I think for us, it's going to be even easier to operate and and Mm -hmm. scale the individual Mm -hmm. components um, and, you know, move it on to Kubernetes. I love that. I uh, just I was referencing this in the beginning of the live stream, but I personally have tried using, um, you know, using GitLab uh, to deploy to a Kubernetes cluster, and it makes it so much easier. I'm sure your developers will be thrilled by this. So great plan. <laughs> um, yeah. So thank you, Michael. This has been such a useful session for me. I'm I'm so stoked just hearing all the great impact that GitLab has made in your company and. Uh, I just hope we can continue to serve you better and better as we go into the future. Uh, Thank you for taking the time to speak with us.